be her wife fam how you guys doing how you doing how you doing how you guys doing welcome back to my youtube channel my name is bukola rodo yakub aka b her wife if you're joining the family the only way i'm gonna know who you are is when you subscribe okay and when you comment because when you subscribe you don't comment oh, we can't interact okay so please subscribe comments let's chat how can you be a family member when we don't check up on each other okay so you know write a comment down say one or two things okay and let's talk and to all my ogs oh my god you guys are the real mvp thank you so much for always coming back i know you guys okay thank you how you guys doing i hope you guys are doing great okay so let's go straight to today's topic oh my gosh If you're in Nigeria and you live in abroad or you live in Nigeria okay please just give yourself a pat at the back okay give yourself a pat at the back and say I am doing well you are doing well okay you are doing well don't let anybody look don't let anybody put pressure on you you are doing well you are doing well whether you live in Nigeria whether you live in abroad if you're African or you live in abroad I just want to say you are doing well if you live in abroad or you live in Nigeria as a Nigerian and you are live and you are living an honest life that's my phone and you're living an honest life you are not doing you are not living a double life you are not doing fraud okay if you are doing legal business you guys are the real MVP you I know it's not easy living in abroad just keep pushing keep pushing that breakthrough will come that breakthrough will come one day don't let anybody put pressure on you you guys already know what i'm talking about look at osh poppy let's just take a break and talk about osh poppy look at osh poppy he was arrested by fbi in dubai they moved him to chicago now he's in california he got himself a lawyer yeah but guess what if you commit the crime you have to be ready you have to be ready to face the law you have to i don't care how much you have in your pocket trust me you're not gonna get away with it if you commit a crime you're gonna go to prison not jail you struggle to get a visa to travel out of nigeria for a better life for a better life that opportunity for you to change your life you you not left Nigeria instead of you to go to abroad to go to school or if you can't even go to school do also find a business you can do you want a better life for your family so you put pick up your bags you uh, you apply for visa when you get that visa you pick up your bag and whatever you can pick up clothes everything and travel right and your main reason for traveling is for to, is for better opportunity better life and when you not get to that country what are you supposed to do look for job you move up the ladder right you move up the ladder isn't that supposed to be but unfortunately when some people you know i was asking somebody that said okay you want to go abroad what is your plan why do you want to travel but you don't have a plan you want to travel but what is your reason for living if you want to leave nigeria to, to, to another country what is your reason why are you planning on why do you why are you plan to leave nigeria what is your reason for living Nigeria? you don't have a plan you don't have you don't have a plan look at us probably watch one of his video, videos that he did he said um my papa was poor my papa papa pa, was poor my mama was poor you know and, and, and now they want me to be poor eh i'm just starting to shop my shop my <laughs> shop my words i don't know i'm just shop, starting to sh to enjoy myself and you guys are complaining uncle what is your job now they said um his lawyer said he's a social media influencer making ten thousand dollars a day hmm uncle are you really making ten thousand dollars a day come on and look at him today 
Oh, she probably was some people's prayer points. God, eh? I'm here in America. I'm here in Dubai. Bless me. The same way bless Hush Puppy. You wanna go you wanna you wanna fly uh, first class? Mm? Like Hush Puppy. You wanna wear designs like Hush Puppy? See where Hush Puppy's life ended. Hmm? Now they're moving from Dubai to Chicago. Now he's in California now. I mean, what is wrong with you going? Oh, you said your father suffered, your mother suffered, your papa, papa, papa suffered. You now had the opportunity to leave Nigeria, to leave Nigeria and travel abroad. I know people in Dubai that are working two, three jobs in a day. I know, look at my tailor. He left Nigeria because, he, because this was difficult for him. He's a married man, couldn't feed his wife and, 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 and children. This young man is 30 something year old guy. Are you gonna tell me that Osh Puppy is, Osh Puppy is be better than him? No! Not at all. Young people, they would rather go to Osh Puppy for advice than a man that is working two, two, two jobs or two or three jobs in a day to survive. That's why I said, who are your mentors? Who are your mentors? Who do you go to for advice? Who are the people that you admire on social media? Who are the people that you admire on social media? Recently in my states, a couple of Nigerians wake up! Driving nice cars. Young men in the early 30s, in the late 30s or early 40s, young men. Intelligent men, educated young men. Yes, getting their self involved, getting their self like fraud. Kilo me, you are educated, you have a good job. Why? Because you see your friends driving Mercedes 2020, you see your friends driving. Um, what's that? that car? Um, I don't mean I don't know Kazo because look, I'm, I'm I'm not the kind of girl that get impressed because of your. I guess I mean maybe I'm old. I, I, maybe I'm maybe I'm too old. I don't know. Maybe I'm old school. I don't know. If you're Nigerian, if you're Nigerian and you live in America and you live in one bedroom apartments, I was talking to somebody on Instagram. Said you can survive. On fifteen dollars per hour. Yes, you can. You can survive if you know what you're doing. If you have focus, you can survive on fifteen dollars an hour. Yes, you can. You know, don't worry about that one room that you live in at that moment. Don't worry about it. Go to auction. Don't worry about your car. Your friends that are driving BMs, two thousand twenty car. They're driving um Range Rovers. Yes. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Don't worry about your friends, Range Rover. Oh, man, I don't like that car at all. Mm -mm. Don't worry about your friends that are driving Range Rovers. Go to auction. Save up. If it's eight hundred dollar car, if it's one thousand dollars car, you can buy. Go to auction and get a car. I keep driving that car. My first car was a thousand dollars. My very first car, old car, nineteen eighty something. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, don't worry about those people at your mosque, in your church, driving brand new car. Don't worry about them all. Let me say something. They are paying car notes. They are paying car notes. Some of them worked on they work they work hundred hours just to pay their car notes. Don't worry about them. Stay focused. On, stay focused. You know why you came to America. You know the reason why you are working this hard. You know the reason why you came over here because you want a better life for yourself and because your families are back home and you want to move them from you want to move them from, from that house, from that ghetto house. You know the reason why you left Nigeria to come abroad. You have to be focused. If you cannot focus, you will lose your goal in life. And what is your goal? What do you what did you dream of achieving in life? If you're not focused, you will lose it. I pray you don't lose it in Jesus' name. Did you hear what Papi said? He said, My papa suffered. My papa 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 suffered. My mama suffered. He said, now that I'm enjoying my life, people are complaining. 
thinking it would never get caught. Thinking, but what you don't know is trust and believe me, you can't do it for too long. You will be caught. You cannot get away with this. You cannot. So you have to ask yourself, do I want to live an honest life? Or do I want to live a life of enjoyment? You want to enjoy the moment. You want to enjoy it now. And spend the rest of your life in prison. Imagine if you have, if, imagine if you have a wife and kids. Do you know what they'll be going through right now? You know, a couple of guys in our area. They're in prison right now. They have children at home. They have wives at home. They have their big house. Here. Imagine what their wives are going through. All because of your greediness. All because you don't have self-control. Does it really worth it? Be satisfied, be contented with what you have. Some of us that work two jobs. Some of us work one job. We work hours every single day. Do you think we don't want money? But we don't want no fast money and end up going to prison? Because trust and believe me, you cannot do it for too long. You're going to be caught. So a young man spent four years of his life in prison. Very intelligent man. And I look at his wife, I said, what made you stay? I didn't have to ask her, but I did. I asked her, what made you stay for four years? Because I, li I like to ask that question. I like to ask that question. What made you stay? What made you wait for him for four years? I know some women, immediately they arrest the husband. Bam, the wife is gone. So you have to ask yourself, you're going to lose your wife, you're going to lose your children, the house that you're so eager to show off on social media, you're going to lose it. You need water that stress. You need to wake up young, young Africans living abroad, young Africans living in, in, in Africa. Because I know they do this back home too. Young Nigerians living in Nigeria. Now they said, ah, Yahoo to get it, now they're doing Yahoo Plus. Or, or Yahoo Plus Plus. You're gonna get caught. Friends that will make you to lose focus, you don't need them in your life. People that will make you to lose focus, you don't need them in your life. Because when you lose focus and you join that bad gang, bad influence, when you allow them in your life, their main goal, their main purpose is to destroy you. Their main focus, their main purpose is to destroy you. And you lose everything. You lose your family if you have one. You lose the main reason why you came to America, the main purpose of you traveling abroad. That's what I said. You move from one, one you move up the ladder, not by cheating others. Not by cheating the country, the states, the people. That's not how you move the ladder. That is, that's not how you move up the ladder. You move up the ladder by honest living. By honest living. Get a job. Go to school. Stay focused. Because when you go to prison, uh -huh. When you go to prison, there's so many types of people in prison. And let me tell you something. Don't have a best son. Take part in the on Kim Bayo. On Guma Baby won't have a best son. Take part in the on Kim Bayo. That's why my action doesn't really work all that. You're going to lose your family. You're going to lose everything. And the best don't be so they can only for only for any only for any is home. Yes. Mm hmm. Because you meet different kind of people in prison. All because you're not focused. You want to show off on social media. You want to show off on social media. You want to drive brand new cars that you know in real life you can't even afford, you can't even afford it. Stealing people's credit card for rewards. Doing fraud. When your mates are working three jobs. Your mates are out there working three jobs. I know a friend of mine that has two jobs and he's still a cab driver. Three 
jobs. I know a friend of mine that have three jobs. Work two, two, one job Monday to Friday. Another job in the evening. On weekends, he drives Uber in, in on weekends. Cause oh 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 oh, Nico too late. Do she and she she be? Can be focus. If you're not focused, you will lose. You will lose big time. If you're not focused. I pray you don't lose it in Jesus' name. I pray you don't lose your family. You came to America yesterday. You want to buy a car today. You want to buy a house tomorrow. Get it? Take it easy. Crawl. Crawl. Before you walk. Take your time. Take your time. God bless you. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.